So you actually fell on an outstretched hand mm -hmm. and you hit the ground with this? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the option on your thumb is that we can numb it up, which causes a little pain because we got to put, you know, we have to inject with a needle to numb it up. Or we could just um, very rapidly just pull on it and reduce it and have you protest loudly. No, numb it. Numb it up? Okay, that's your option. That's perfectly fine. All right, sir, we're just going to clean your hand. This is just a special soap. Inject you. All right, sir, this is the numbing medicine. It's bupivacaine. All right, you're going to feel four little sticks when we go in, okay? Ready? Make, you put in, make sure you put in a sufficient amount there, so... About two cc's in at each yeah. spot. One, two, three, stick. You're doing great, sir. Is this a volar, a volar dislocation or a dorsal dislocation? Is it the MCP or is it the IP joint? So, inter interphalangeal joint. So the MCP joint's down here. This is the IP joint. This is a dorsal dislocation where the distal uh, phalanx is uh, angulated behind the, the IP. So it's a dorsal dislocation. Okay. You ain't gonna take my own guess. No, no, sir. It's only gonna take a few seconds, okay? All right, so what are you doing? All right, so I'm gonna grab the base of his thumb with my non-dominant hand. I'm gonna put pressure at the joint pushing distally with my thumb. At the same time, I'm gonna hyperextend. As I distract it away with my non-dominant hand, we'll roll it back and put it in place. All right. You ready, sir? Two, three. There we go. And I felt it move. Can you bend that thumb for me? Good. Let's check his refill. It's good. Less than two seconds. All right. So the MCP joint stable too. Yeah. MCP stable. IP joint is stable. All right. So we're gonna put a little uh, thumb spike a splint on that, and uh, we'll be done shortly. So. So you were an ER tech for a while, and you've done a lot of these, huh? I have done a lot of these. Um, and what we'll do, just to make it more flexible, right where the thumb starts, we'll just cut two notches in to make the splint more flexible. Okay. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just I'll do a V cut from here to here, leaving it attached, and but that's that definitely will work both ways. All right, sir. Thanks for letting us do this uh, training video. Appreciate it. Yeah.